Sí. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Are you ready for those volcano views in the morning? <laughs> yes! Well, here we go. Looks epic, hey? <laughs> it's a little bit misty this morning, to say the least. But hopefully we'll get a view before we leave camp. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 280 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. Good morning Bumblebee. <laughs> we camped here last night right in front of this massive, crazy, beautiful, active volcano. <laughs> Epic views. <laughs> <laughs> it looked uh, a lot better last night. <laughs> And I checked up on it last night and I saw red light just on top of the volcano so I think there was some lava activity going on I don't know exactly but it looked just amazing but let me show you guys where we're heading today so we are here just next to volcano Villa Rica around here and today unfortunately we are heading straight off the map we have run out of map so we're going to be heading up here, past this rock, around here, and hoping to camp somewhere in this volcanic gravel here. Yes, after changing our route through Argentina to a route through Chile, we are finally going to be making some distance towards our goal, Santiago, to give Bumblebee some much needed TLC. Yes, our tires needed a replacement like 5,000 miles ago. <laughs> I think we still got a mill on there. It's about 500 miles to Santiago from here and we're hoping to get halfway, but we still have to pack up everything and it's already eight o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. Good morning, good morning. Oh, yeah. Sleep good? Sleep good. Good. So we were just oiling the chain this morning and I realized that we have lost another one of these little metal rings. Now we think we've got about seven of them missing on the chain. I think it's definitely about time we get to Santiago, hey? 500 miles more! <laughs> please, Bumblebee! Please! Come on! So Nikos yesterday said that one of his cylinders has stopped working. I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but he said he's just got one cylinder left. So he's having a bit of trouble to start it. Okay. Gotta get him out of this spot first and then we can maybe roll him down the hill. Okay, ready, go! <sighs> Sit. Yeah. Hey. We have to push him down the hill. Okay, ready. See. <laughs> He's gone off. He's off down the hill and it hasn't started. I think we'll have to just catch him up and see if he manages to start it, hey? Wow, it's so misty around here, hey? Oh, I hear him, he started it. <laughs> it's a good job we're on a big hill, hey? Okay. All 
right, let's go see if Nikos is all right, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Bye neighbours. Bye neighbours. Thanks for the drone footage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this road was a little bit dodgy coming up. So we're going to have to take it very nice and easy going down. Yep. Oh yeah, some big... Yeah, it's this bit which is a little bit annoying. Let's see if I just got to take it nice and easy. Uh-huh. Nice and slow and just roll down basically. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily it's downhill. No. <laughs> and we can just roll down. Yeah, we don't have to worry about traction, hey? <laughs> We're just smoothly rolling. Well, Nikos is not here, so he must have been all right. Nine degrees this morning in the mountains. It's a misty nine degrees morning. There's only, from what I can remember, there's only two more, two more bits which are a bit dodgy. Yeah. This bit after the corner, and uh -huh. then there's this one little sand pit, yeah. which last time we had a bit of trouble with. But I think they're okay if we're rolling through them like this, it's fine. Yes. Whee! <laughs> and I have been watching quite a lot of the Dakar rally videos, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're prepared, yeah? Getting some second-hand knowledge there. Woo. So we're heading first to a town about 30 minutes from here called Villa Rica. And in Villa Rica, we're going to see if a mechanic can have a look at Nikos's tyre that, well, mostly Nikos changed yesterday. <laughs> but now it's a bit unseated on the rim. It wasn't really seated properly, so it's kind of bouncing his front end every time he's going round. Yeah, I think he's hoping as well to fix his um, stand because his stand is uh, broken. Got a crack in it, so he can't rest his bike on it. Oh, hold on, here's the sand pit so yeah. around it. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't do that last time. <laughs> and then the cylinder issue, which happened yesterday coming up this hill, so uh, yeah, he's got a couple of things that he's got to have looked at. So we're going to see what we can do in Villa Rica. But yeah, man, it's crazy how strong Bumblebee is. I'm so impressed. Like the whole way from England to <laughs> up this little volcanic road here is like no issues. I know. It's only when you travel with another biker and then, you know, for a little while and you can see how many problems come up and then you can really see how fortunate we are and how amazing Bumblebee is. Thank you so much. Good job. Good job, Bumblebee. The mist is rising up now. Yeah, we were hoping to stick around to see the volcano, but you just have no idea how long it's going to take before no. it clears and whether there's going to be a bank of clouds. Yeah, I'm happy that we had a really nice view of it yesterday. Yeah, it was a beautiful view for dinner and a beautiful view to go to bed with, so that was incredible. Um, yes! Oh, good! Good! tried a few mechanics in the town, in this town, Villa Rica. We got the number of the mechanic up here because everything is closed, but I think Nikos has spoken to the mechanic. Uh, so, see if we can get something sorted today. Yeah. Don't know what's happening, but they're looking into it. Empanada time! Empanada time! And we found a panaderia. But it looks more like a cake place. Let me see what they've got. Let me see what they've got. Let me see what they've got. What's this over here? Empanadas. Okay. Oh yeah, mushroom and cheese. Oh, there's some really nice sweet pastries on the table here. Looks really nice. ¿Cuánto costó? Los dos por nueve noventa. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Sí, empanada. Empanada. And aquí? El nombre. El eh, nombre. Factura. Factura. Sí. Okay, factura. 
Gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Look at this. This is breakfast. Ah! Okay, let's go back to Nikos and show him the good stuff. Ah, empanada. <laughs> <laughs> and Whoa. the me mechanical? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Vou ter que desmontar. Okay. E após ele conserta. Good. Good. Let's eat. Come in. <laughs> Look at that. Looks amazing, hey? Hard at work. Whoa. Nikos, the mechanic man. I still don't really know what he's doing, but he said that. The mechanic told him that he's got the part that he needs, but he has to replace it himself, basically, is what I understand. So, he's doing that, and we're filming it. <laughs> we have the issue! Spark plug! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tres, dos, uno! Hey. Hey. Yes! Nice! A little bit of smoke, but it's okay. Muchas gracias, ciao! Oh yes, we're back on the road, baby! So after a little hiatus in Villa Rica, we can now continue on to our mission Santiago! Yes, so we did 24 miles so far, <laughs> and we have another 225 miles to go! <laughs> yeah, and it's just midday now, so we're okay, we've still got time, we just got to get out of this town and make some distance. <laughs> Whoa, his bike is smoking. It's smoking. Oh my God. I mean, I asked Nikos if it was okay for his bike to be like that. Wow. And he, was like, he was like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's just, the, I don't know, the oil or the petrol or the yeah. water. Everything's burning off on his bike. <laughs> and it's just like a big like cloud behind him. Oh man. <laughs> Look, Nikos. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Our first sign to Santiago. And now I'm pretty sure we are joining a highway which is like the main highway that runs through Chile all the way up this is our first highway in ages hey yes our first major road since Buenos Aires I think I think so too actually oh here we go here we go 698 kilometers the sign said to Santiago epic it's time to make some distance Come on, Bumblebee! 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 Bumblebee. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at this! So we're just having a little lunch break at a petrol station on the highway. <laughs> Nikos has treated us all to pizza. <laughs> There are so many cheese and tortilla and honey sellers on the side of the highway. I want cheese now. So we've just reached a payage and there's like blueberry sellers and there's like fire people asking for money. I kind of want to have blueberries now. Yeah, there's loads of people selling blueberries. Yeah. I mean, look at all these street sellers. Wow. Crazy man. Thank you. What are we having there? Blueberries? <laughs> oh, no blueberries. It's got some natural juice. Oh, for £1.50. Yeah. Look at this. Amazing! Look at that, get everything you want just here. <laughs> Chocolate, awesome. Pringles. The payage is like the service stops. The service stops of Chile. 
Where's he going now? Oh, I think he might be hitchhiking. Oh. Oh, that's us. Oh. We have still another 61 miles to go. Yeah, so we found a place on Ioverlander, another river camp actually, that looks uh, promising. It's already half past six, so it's been a long, long day. We're pushing it. Gotta get to Santiago, gotta get some TLC for Bumblebee. Oh yes, new tires, new chain, complete service. A new life is waiting for Bumblebee in oh, Santiago. Yes. Definitely. One more day. Now in this part of the highway, they're just selling strawberries. <laughs> First it was the cheese highway, now it's the strawberry highway. <laughs> Okay, after nearly 12 hours on the bike, we are finally going to come off of the Route 5 highway. The camp on Ioverlander is basically down there next to the river where all of those cars are. Yeah, it seems like a popular spot, definitely. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we can find a, a part of it that's a little bit further away. So I think probably this turn off here yeah. is going to do it. Looks like it. So, yeah, my marker has it. Through the bush here. <laughs> <laughs> Through the bush here. Uh, okay, let me see if there's another place. Otherwise, I think back there I saw a couple of exits and we'll just take one of those. Oh, perfect. We'll just camp here next to this pile of rubbish, eh? <laughs> Good idea. Yeah, I reckon this one then. Yeah. This will be the one. Oh, bash plate! Yeah, I think probably just here somewhere, no? Yep, anywhere around here. Okay. So there's a little road down here that looks a little bit more secluded, going down to the river. I had a little walk, but I couldn't get all the way down there. It was just too far, so I'm gonna ride down and see what it's like. So the bit behind us was option B. Oh, okay. It just, it looked really interesting when I walked down it. I thought, hmm, where's that going? So let's have a look. Okay. Okay. I walked to about here, uh -huh. and then I stopped. Okay. A lot of toilet paper. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh Jesus. Okay. Ah, I think it just goes to the river actually. Yeah? Yeah. Ah. Okay. No. Okay. Forward. by Dunlop. Crazy, rubbish everywhere here. Yeah, I'm really sad. Right. So no good down by the river, no good here. Okay, after having a quite a look around, we decided that this flat area down there is probably gonna give us the best, most peaceful night. There's some flat enough spots to pitch the tent. Oh, it's amazing. Just got to get down. Okay, round the corner. Yeah, awesome. Look at the sun. Oh, wow. Super orange sun. Cool. That'll do for the night, hey? <laughs> Good 
good evening guys we made it hope you're alive Woo! yeah it's pretty much sunset now it's been an incredibly long ride on the route to five highway pretty much the whole way we made some considerable distance today and got more than halfway towards santiago so that's the goal and we found a pretty good spot to camp and Bumba B's tires are still all right and the chain didn't break. One more day, Bumblebee. One more day. <laughs> we will just have a bite to eat and then jump straight into the tent. We are ready for bed. So that's it from us today. At the end, we did 280 miles and we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below and we will see you next time. So if you think motorcycling is dangerous, walking is way more dangerous. It looks already much better, but this was completely open here. I was walking along the streets with my flip-flops and somehow I just <laughs> stepped over and I really hurt my foot. One, two, three? Yes. We will see you next time. <laughs>